Oh. So uh, whatever you guys love shipping, I, I totally vouch for and I think it's awesome. So I don't have any specific, um, you know, requests or, or, you know, ones that, right. Um, but I just I just love that you guys have these backstories yourselves and that, that adds to, like, the whole love of, of Blizzard and Overwatch. I agree. Yeah. 
both of them, like I'm in Paris, hey, we're doing this dance video, would you do yours? Just go online and check out Widowmaker's dance. And I'm like, and, and, and like, look at the ones that we did. So I go to watch theirs first, and it's like everyone's going like this, and like that, and it's like, oh, that looks fun. So I go to see mine, and of course she's a ballerina. And all these like majestic movements, and I'm like, I have to do that. Um, so good! And I did. <laughs> it was great, you did a great job. It was... It was okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, are you excited to what's coming up? Let's go and check out Zarya's <laughs> Isn't it 80s exercise? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh yeah. 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 That's super cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I have an idea. You personally? Well, I had, I think it's. Or, or Zarya does. Zarya's Zarya. Oh, oh, cool. <laughs> I wasn't sure if you were talking about Dolia, like, <laughs> yeah. in the mornings. <laughs> The back there. Oh, yes. cool. um, so I know you guys have probably been asked this before, but how do you guys do your death and wounded noises in studios? <laughs> you have an expert <laughs> to do with you know, to do with sounds and different types of dying and being awakened again and all of that. And I'm serious actually. It's also uh, uh, there are different types of sounds depending on how you die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, no. No, I was just going to say, luckily we have a guy in the studio whose name I do not know, and he says, Okay, so right now you're going to die, um, you're falling off an avalanche, and you're going through the snow, and then this happens. So you're kind of shivering, but you're also hitting rocks on the way down. So you're like, <laughs> and, so, and he shows, he kind of does it. <laughs> and so we're like, okay, weirdo. And then we do them ourselves. Not weirdo. Thank God for him, or else my death sounds would be terrible. But so... They they sh they first show us um, and then we and then we imitate or try to do that because I've never died so I don't know how that goes. <laughs> I've never died repeatedly at least. Oh right right. Never died repeatedly. Next. Um, could you all say one of your voice lines? Which one would you would you like? Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so um, any suggestions? Let them eat cake. Let them eat cake. I'll give you a Russian one. Agon pagatomnosti. Camarón que se duerme se lo lleva la corriente. That's my period to things. Boop. Right back. If you could give your character a special ability now, what would it be? So, <laughs> I've learned this question so much in the last three weeks that I had a special fan from Argentina help me because I'm like, dude, I didn't say dude, I said dude in Spanish. And um, what would, what, what could, like if Sombra had a, a different ability, and we've decided together, thank you, Herman, that um, when I do my apagando las luces, I don't only hack everybody's powers and stop them for three or four seconds. I can take on their powers for all of like eight seconds and then like boom, 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 I'm freaking Symmetra with the turrets or whatever, you know. Um, that would be killer. Okay, I haven't thought about it that much. <laughs> <laughs> so much. Um, give me three seconds to come up with something huge. Um, I don't know, maybe... I, I she already does that like huge like jump thing because you know she already has it so much like I don't think she needs improvement. <laughs> what would you add to yeah. Widowmaker and Zarya? Yeah. Another question. Would you yeah. like to see that movie? Huh? Another question. We're gonna have to wait six seconds. Yeah. Ah. So, like becoming invisible would be very good. Oh, because she can already cool. see, like, she can already see like through the dark or Yeah, but she's getting a notice here at the beginning of next year, so that would make sense. You're, you're next, you know, you know things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Young lady. What, what was your first step of voice line recorded? Like outside of Overwatch? Yeah. Or outside of Overwatch? Well, in Overwatch. Oh. Oh, I know. Mine was, when I was a girl, I had a fierce fire. It was cinematic. That's the best thing I ever recorded. Yes. So, same. What's my first infiltration line? I believe that was the first one I recorded. Well, well it's, it's, and they say it's the hardest computer on the planet. Oh, yeah, yeah. And they said it was the hardest security system on the planet. Something like that. Thank you, love. 
That was a while ago, guys. <laughs> So, um, before Doomfist came out, everybody assumed it was yes. Terry Crews. Yes. yes, he did take a picture, apparently, at the, at the Blizzard locations, saying, woo, I'm here. And, yeah, um, he was visiting. I, I, I think that uh, fans hyped this up more than, uh, well, Blizzard obviously never said anything about that. I think it was a, a, a series of miscommunications that happened, and people wanting that to, to, to exist, and it not happening. And I know Doomfist had been cast, or they'd been recording with Saw for a while, so I'm just really glad that they chose somebody who's so talented as Saw and so incredible, and, you know, maybe Terry Crews will do a voice uh, some time, but, I, but I, don't, I don't think that it was something that was planned, or, or it was more of a fan hype, I think, you know what I mean? Um, and I know some people were a little sad about it, but I, I actually really like Doomfist's voice. And anyone who has um, watched BlizzCon from over here? Uh, we'll know that Sarah is the best. He's so amazing. He's an amazing person. Yeah. Right, we've got time for uh, just a couple more. So, I'm going to go right there. Yes. Uh, if you could add any hero from any other franchise to the game, who would you choose? Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> <laughs> Simba? <laughs> I don't know, I have no idea. Simba. 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 Hiya. Um, if you had to pick out one of the favourite shorts, what would you do your favourite and why? I have seven. You wouldn't change anything. <laughs> that's what any one of these characters would say. Well, that's what our characters would say. What would we say? Yeah. Okay, I would. I would make her a little less hard to play, so that more people who love her can actually enjoy playing her. I, I agree. I agree. Yeah. I hear a lot of people saying how hard she is, that they that they love Widowmaker, but they can't play her. So I would just make her a little, little easier to play. Yeah, so I can play her. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can do one more. Uh, would you, Ed, uh, add uh, Jeff Kaplan to the hero of oh. <laughs> Totally, he already is a hero. Uh, yes, oh, that's a great idea. We should tweet, tweet that to him. He's a great guy, and he would make a great hero. I think Michael Chu would also be a wonderful hero. And that, I believe, is time, ladies and gentlemen. A huge thank you. Thank you guys for coming.